Madam Chairman, <clears throat> and uh, gentlemen, thank you for your, your comments this morning. Um, we pay a lot of attention to what's going on um, within the, the aviation sector because people in my state have to fly. And um, a lot of times it's, it's very small planes um, going through very small communities, through another small community to get to a medium-sized community, to get to a community of size, maybe 26,000. Um, but what, what we see oftentimes is a, is a growing frustration because TSA, in order to be effective, um, needs to have a one-size-fits-all approach. And, and that is oftentimes clearly not understood when uh, you're in a, a, a regional fishing um, a hub like Dillingham or Bethel, and you see uh, a dozen um, people from TSA who are monitoring you going through this tiny little airport where there is uh, there's not only no room for uh, the passengers once they've gone through screening, um, it's, it's a system that they look at and just say, we just we're not quite sure why we're going through all that we are going through. And uh, as their representative here in Congress, I have to explain to them, it's all about safety. And it doesn't make any difference whether you're in Bethel or, or whether you're in, in Baton Rouge. Um, we're talking about safety here. But there are some very legitimate concerns that come um, from this type of an approach.